a Buddha when he worked in India 2,450 years ago. I had some very close students. One of them is called Loving Eyes because he had very great compassion for everybody. And we actually see this, this Loving Eyes form, you know, we see him manifesting over many centuries. So they took rebirth in Tibet and the first of these were the Kamapa. So he was the first incarnate Lama of Tibet. He was born 1110. And people who meditated on him saw a black energy field over his head, pentangular. And actually, the, his fourth incarnation uh, taught the teacher of the first Dalai Lama. So Kamapa was the main uh, reincarnation at that time. And then gradually many others came. But that was his main thing, that was what he was good at. Kamapa is, Kamapa is coming. <laughs> My family representatives have been secretaries to Kamapa for many generations, and everyone in my family kept repeating Kamapa Cheno. From childhood, I kept hearing this declaration, and as early as I can remember myself, I could hear Kamapa's name. And 16th Kamapa was mighty. He was simply like a force of nature. He just came straight in, totally spontaneous, whatever he thought happened, you know, he was like, he was incredible. A true Diamond Way teacher. I should maybe add something here. Uh, several of our teachers looking for the 16th Kamapa, or for the continuation of the 16th Kamapa, the 17th, actually went up to Tibet several times. And they all tell about a child, you know, who uh, was running to them and showed me and, and wanted contact with them. At the time of uh, recognition, I was probably 11. And uh, so I was very small, so I didn't have too much of an idea of what was happening. Yes, but it was, uh, it was a very really amazing moment because uh, it was at that time and that I uh, first met uh, many Dhamma friends. Of course, each individual will have their own choice, their own right uh, of, um, of believing and understanding uh, what it is. But from, my own, from my own experience is that it is one of the greatest tools to, um, to understanding what is life. <laughs> 